What's going on guys? Today, uh, we're gonna fucking race. Like, my my boy came down from the bay, his name's Ryan. Um, it's my, what, a long story on this one, I'll tell you guys afterwards, cause I'm hyped to race right now, so like, I don't even wanna ruin it yet. Um, we're gonna race, see who's better, cause back in the day we used to work out together, we one of my first weightlifting partners, and it's cool because, since we like, I mean obviously I'm better than him now, like, cause he lost all his gains. Like look at him, look at, look at the gains. Look at these gains, look at these gains. No, but yeah. real shit, I swear, his shoulders used to be bigger than mine. This back in the day, we're like, we were like 17, 18. Anyways, it's exciting because we used to compete back then, and we would feed off each other's energy, make each other better. Now we're gonna compete today, and uh, I'm gonna smash you, bro. This is what it is. This is what it is. Yeah, this is it right here. We're racing this. Going in. Yeah. The pre race, look, bro. So, look, okay? Let me tell you why he thinks he can beat me. He thinks he can beat me because he knew me a long time ago, and I was as skinny as him a long time ago. That's why he thinks he can beat me. That's not skinny, bro. Okay, look, real shit. Real, I'm gonna tell you guys okay, real shit, up. okay? When I was. 17 just turned 18 like we started working out together and we worked out together like every single day I mean I'm talking about before I met him. I was working out every single day anyways Yeah, and I was in there like multiple times a day like a just straight gym rat and um, Yeah, we, we would we would like Feed off each other and become better and so when I left the Bay Area right as you can see like I took all his gains with me <laughs> So they're they're gone. I stole them. I said you saw I look good bro. I mean I look good bro. bro I'm not gonna tell you look good on camera you know, I mean, no, do it again, do it again. I'll fucking do it again. Bro. No, do what? We don't do anything again. Do it again. We don't cut anything. All right, no cuts. Go. He, look, he's not a he's not a YouTuber. Not a YouTuber. He's not a camera guy. It's fine. I'm a tech guy. He is a tech guy. So that's so he got out of. I can't even say get out of, but you work out what, like four times a week? Yeah, three, four times a week. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, none of this really matters. The real reason why I wanted to introduce him uh, was because he was one of the first people that I ever got like really serious in the gym with, and it means something to me. So he came down to visit. I'm gonna beat the shit out of him on this racetrack, that's not gonna happen. and he's trash, and he thinks that's he's gonna beat, gonna me, and that's all it comes down to. I'm gonna beat his ass, bro. Yeah. I'm, beat ass, I'm bro. still the king. No, he's was not. the king then? I'm the king now. He's not the king. King's yeah. gonna see today. Watch. He's uh, gonna okay. see today. But check it out. So I do want to talk about this dude. Y'all don't know. Oh, who why the fuck you want to talk? Why are you, no, no. you want to talk about? Me. No, I'm gonna talk shit about this. All right, go okay, ahead. So go he ahead. was a little dude. He had a tiny little. Shoulders. I was a little dude. Was a little dude. <laughs> no, let's check it out. He's about my size now. I'm about the same size. I'm a little bit smaller. Yeah. How much you were? A little bit smaller. Like 195. Yeah, that's 195. right where I was around. 195, yeah, 200. 195. We're like same size. Yeah. He always looked good though. He was always a strong dude. Biggest thing about this guy though, honestly, genuinely, why I love this dude. He's a passionate dude, and he sticks by his word, bro. He stick by your work. He'll make me cry. He's gonna make me cry. He'll make him cry like a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I ain't gonna fucking cry. I, tell you I cried in my last video. Yeah, I saw that. That's cool. Yeah. No, but that's much stuff. It's, it's passion, bro. Yeah. And he talks about being uh, following your passions, right? Fitness is his thing. Business is his thing. But follow your passions. You know what I mean? This dude, since day one, has always been like, I'm gonna start a gym. Uh, this is my life. Yeah. You know? He's repeated it so many times that it became annoying as fuck. Honestly, to hear. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, he he's, he was very adamant about what he wanted, and he took the steps to make it happen. Like he, he talks about taking steps, right? Yeah. You got to take those steps to work towards what you want. I've done the same thing in my own right. You know, I've, I've taken it's a different steps path in a different path, yeah. right? But the reason you guys see him now, and to me, he'll always be my old friend. You know what I mean? You guys have a perception of who he is, and I just want to say he's he is the same person. He is a real person. And I, I mean, I don't even know how to say it, bro. It, bro. No, for real. He's, a, he's a real dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. Of course, and, and the thing is, too, so you guys know, like, no matter what paths you take in your life, you, there's no one right way to do it. Like, if you watch my videos, you like what I'm doing, you don't have to be me. You gotta be the best version of yourself. And you know, I always talk about that. And that's all it comes down to. And uh, I appreciate those words. It's like, it's funny, like, when you get the camera on him, like, he, he'll just make fun of me all the time. But when you put the camera, he's actually sweet. He's a sweet guy. I'm a sweetie, man. Damn, sweetie. you're hella sweet. His girl, your girl is lucky, huh? He must be lucky, huh? Yeah, she's sweet. Right? But she's she lucky. don't like, his girl don't even like him. She was calling me, like, Hey, don't send him back home. Don't, don't send him back home. Oh, that's Can you just come visit? No, I'm kidding. I don't even know his girl. His girl looks sweet though. He showed me a picture. So, if, she, if you if you watch this video, uh, yeah, you know I, I don't want to go bitch beyond that. I don't want to. I don't want to put you in a place. You know. Don't put me in a weird spot. But anyways, um, I'm hyped to be here and. This is fucking race, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna teach you how to really do I'm it. Not, not it's not gonna happen. Actually, you know what's funny? When he mentioned this thing about being the same person, it reminds me of a story of my mom. My mom, I told you this the other day. My mom would always be like, when I got into fitness, I was like, yo, I love this shit. I'm gonna make this my life. I want to make this my life. I didn't know how I was gonna do it when I was younger, but I'm gonna make it my life. My mom would, do, my mom would go like this, and I love my mom. If you're watching this video, I still love you no matter what. She would go, yeah, like me and your dad, we went through that phase too. Like you'll get out of it. And I was, I remember telling her and like being in my mind, like, nah, this is not phase. This is my yeah. life. 
Totally. And, uh, you know, now I talk to my mom and she knows, she sees it, but I think it's funny. So the reality is, like, whatever you think you really see yourself doing in your life, whatever you're really passionate about, fucking chase it no matter what, yeah. by any means. Like I said, don't don't worry about what everyone else says or what they, they think of the situation or what they think of the the act or the job or whatever it is, if you feel it in your heart and you know that that's for you, just go for it. Yeah, and that's so all. That's it. No, and have faith for it, right? Absolutely. You would always you you were very clear about what you wanted. I wasn't as clear necessarily about what I wanted, but believe in yourself. Believe that you have what it takes to do what you want to do. I mean, the perfect example right here. Really, I honestly, appreciate it. Honestly. Now get this fucking work and it's fucking, I'm about to beat the shit out of you. This fucking racetrack. <laughs> You're gonna see. Watch. I'm gonna win. See what what he doesn't know. What, what Ryan doesn't know is that um, he's an actual professional race car driver. Oh, he's gonna find out. Watch. He's gonna find out. Oh, I got a big ass head. So which one did you get? I got the large one. Oh, I need that triple XL. I got a big ass head. Let's try a large. It's a large also, By the way, I'm gonna put this on record. Would you weigh 260? He weighs 260. Yeah. I'm 195. Weight is not gonna be a factor in this. He's gonna he's gonna get smashed. And it's not because of the weight. Okay, so you set yourself up. Okay, so basically what you're saying is I'm playing a handicap match and you're still gonna lose. He's gonna get smashed. Aside from the weight. All right, bro. The lap time will tell. Ryan is fucking trash. You're trash, bro. No, bro. I'm about to fight you right now. Fuck racing. I'll fight you after, bro. Oh, fuck <laughs> you. Hold on, hold on. Why are we putting this on camera? I'm helping them out right now. You're not, bro, it's because I can't. This BMP. is stupid. You can't even figure it out. You look like my mom, bro. What are you doing? Don't help me anymore. Stop. And oh, that button's broken, bro. Yeah, that button's broken. I'm, a, I'm just gonna go like this. <laughs> I'm doing it. Go ahead, one more. Huh? Yeah, yours is good, man. I guess these are like, uh, like neck guards. Um, you definitely need one of these because of, like, I got a neck. My neck will guard it for me. You need one of those. So like, you should probably use two of those, bro. Yeah, just use two. Put two on there. Yeah, you you need two, bro. Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna go like this. You can go like that, bro. I'm good. All right, so look, it's obvious the only reason why um, I didn't do as good as him was because <laughs> it's not obvious. Um, they <laughs> gave him less power to my machine because they were like, this guy already looks like he has too much power, so we're gonna power down his machine and they let him run a little bit faster the whole time. Right, Plus, man. I weigh about 68 pounds more than him, right. and I rolled my ankle earlier. <laughs> That's the and That's yo, the I had no sleep last yo. night. Okay, I didn't sleep at all. I didn't eat any food this morning. I got bricks in my pocket. He, he ate for like the past like six hours. He got caffeine. He weighs 100 pounds less. His machine had more power. There's so many reasons why, bro. So many variables. Except you lost, bro. They had the numbers up. They had the numbers up. Yeah, they had them up. They had them up. They took them down. How come Scooter's beating you? It was embarrassing for you, bro. How come Scooter's beating you? Okay, for real though, he told them to take the numbers down. I didn't tell him anything. How come Scooter's beating you? How come Scooter's beating you? 22. I'm you had 23. I'm not in that race, bro. Yeah, but you I'm had 23. He already beat you. That kid's <laughs> to admit fucking defeat. Go, bro. I gotta admit defeat, though. But it's honestly because I'm heavier than you. No, it's true. I, that It's undeniable. Because, because the reality is when I hit corners, as hard as I try not to slide and get off like traction, yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I gave him the technique. 
but you, you did good. I got better the second time around. Yeah, you got better. Show them the, show them the results. They, can see they can't even read this. Though. I don't know what this means. Together. Yeah, the point is, I'm going to come back. I'm going to drop 68 pounds. <laughs> and then I'm going to be as heavy as him. And I'm, I'm, I guarantee I'm going to get better than 21. Yeah, this is also his, what, first time doing this? Yeah, first time in I've done this like 10 times, too. So I had the tricks. He's a cheater. I knew the tricks. Cheater. Yeah, it's all right. Anyways, I'm gonna come back and do this again. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kevin is like, Kevin is trying to get me to say this so bad right now. And I, I think I have to agree with him because doing this go-kart shit, I was like, this is gonna be bullshit. I'm gonna have to go work out after. My fucking bicep tendonitis is all messed up. I feel like my arms are pumped. And it's cause you're holding this thing like this. So you already know every day is arm day. We already got arm workout in. I need to go to the gym. I'm done with it. Matter of fact, I think I'm done with the gym. I think all I'm gonna do now is uh, work towards being skinnier like you so I can beat you in go-karting <laughs> and I'm a go-kart that's gonna be my arm day There you go, and I'm done with the gym signing out fucking done with this shit